So this one is more of a feel good, cute aesthetic extension, which I thought won't really make a difference in the beginning, but it has actually made working on Chrome much more nice and happier. You just go up here, click on the extension and choose the cursor of your choice. If the ones in this section don't really interest you, click on more cursors and they have a bunch of collection of cursors and you can choose from them. After clicking on the preferred collection, click on add all cursors, then go back to your extension, go to the settings option and add the desired cursors to your favorite collection by drag and drop because this favorite section is accessible right from extension menu. Once again, click on the extension and you will see your new cursor designs there. After you are done selecting, choose your preferred cursor size and that's it. There you have a cute cursor of your choice. Keep in mind that this cursor only works inside Chrome app. This happened to me so many times that I was working on something, maybe researching for my next video or project and something came up in my mind and then I switched to my phone to make a note but then I was lost in the black hole of notifications and stuff and lost the thought I was hoping to make a note of. This extension comes in so much handy when I'm working. I can quickly jot down anything here to think about it later or just so that I don't forget. I know that I can use the notes app on my Mac also, but this extension keeps me in the flow of work. I don't need to look for another application or other device to make a note. Uh, it's all in there in the Chrome. This extension can do bunch of cool things, change fonts. They have many fonts to choose from. This one is my favorite. It's size change background of the board and i love the variety they have some of them are actually very cool the one i'm currently using is my favorite you can also share your notes with someone if you need to and can also search your notes so that you don't have any trouble in finding the right one just make sure you log in or sign up so that you don't lose your data. If you are a free user, you can only make seven boards with 50 MB of space. The premium one costs $5 a month for monthly plan and $3 a month for yearly plan. I'm using the free one right now. It's uh, just working fine for me. You just can see that which one suits you much better. I am strictly against multitasking but yeah sometimes we do need a video to just play somewhere in the corner because we are working on something which doesn't really require a lot of effort or attention or we are working on something which the video is guiding us on step by step and we need a video somewhere in the corner so that we can just see at the same time we are working on it and at that time this extension really comes in handy this extension works perfectly fine with youtube netflix and prime video feel free to test on other streaming platforms Forest is a very well-known app to cut some screen time and focus on your work or real life. But if you're not aware of it yet, then this is how it functions. You set a timer for the amount of time you want to take a break from your device and a tree will start growing up from the stage of little plant. If you try to use your device before the timer ends, your tree will die and you don't want that, right? Why would you kill your tree? So, until recently, I didn't know that a free Chrome extension for this app exists. And guys, you don't have to have the Forest app on your phone for using this. This extension has a block list and a allow list mode. In the block list mode, you add apps which distract you and you don't want to visit while working. And if block list mode is on, you can visit any websites on your Chrome except the ones which are in the blacklist list. And the allow list mode, um, you can visit only those websites you have allowed, like the websites which are in the allow list mode, uh, you will be able to visit only those when this mode is on, none other than that. 
However, if you still try to be the rule breaker here and try to visit those websites which you are not allowed to visit, your tree will die. And the minimum timer you can set on this forest extension is 10 minutes which goes up to maximum 120 minutes. So a lot of time it happens that you want to send some piece of text or a link on your phone from your laptop and for that you send yourself a mail or a text from your computer system. Uh, I have done it a lot of times but not anymore. With this extension and app installed on your phone, you can send yourself any link or a piece of text on your registered mobile device without going to the hassle of sending a text or a mail. Also, keep in mind that you need to have the same application installed on your mobile device so that you can register that mobile device with the extension that you will install in your computer system on the Chrome. So make sure that you have an app installed on your phone. Uh, but also, I want to add in that this app hasn't been updated in a long time, at least on the App Store. So make sure that if you are concerned about any privacy or security reasons, um, you are just reading all the privacy and the security concerns in the description of the app. We all make mistakes while making our assignments, projects, notes, or sending mails, and Grammarly gives us a chance to correct them. It works in Gmail automatically. You just need to install the extension and sign up. The next time you make mistakes while writing on your mail, Grammarly will show you where you messed up and give you a suggestion to correct it. It works on various other websites, but alternatively, if you want to copy a text from your Word file to maybe post it on your blog post and you want to look for any mistakes that you might have made, uh, click right there and click on my Grammarly and then click on new paste your text to correct your mistakes and Grammarly will do it all for you. I'm using a free version right now but there also exists a premium version for it so if you are very keen on correcting each and every mistake of yours to the dot then you can go for the premium version. This is basically a mood tracker for the coffee lovers. It's a really aesthetic and feel-good extension. You finish off your day with registering your mood by choosing the color of your coffee, add a little note if you want to, and lock it in. It's really nice and I love doing it at the end of the day when I'm done with my work. It's really nice and it also keeps track of my mood, uh, which I think is really nice for the overall well-being of a person. A lot of times we add websites in our bookmarks and our reading list to read later but 70 to 80 percent of the time we don't really go back to read stuff. I mean there are n number of bookmarks saved on our browsers. It gets really messy to even go back and look for what we saved. Pockets really comes in handy to save the content you might want to watch later or read later and it categorizes them on the basis of videos, articles, highlights, favorites and an archive section automatically like you would be able to save that which one is your favorite that will go in the favorite category and also the archive section you would be able to select that which one goes there but in videos and articles it will figure out automatically that which one is a video and which one is an article which i think is a really great thing don't we all wish sometimes that someone could read the article on the Wikipedia page or just any website and we could just listen? This text-to-speech makes things so much easier for us when we are just not into reading long length of information displaying on our screen. You just select the text and then go over this extension and this will read everything aloud for you. There are a few settings that you can make. Um, how you are comfortable in listening to the whole text and i just love 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 this application i mean extension it has made things so much easier for me So this one is my favorite extension so far. It has made working on the Chrome browser so much easier. You know when you are working on something and opening one tab after the other but then when you have to look for a specific tab you were lost and not able to find the tab you were looking for. 
Toby organizes the tabs into collections which you will create. For example, you can categorize them into collections called personal, work or just name it on a particular project you are working on and put all the relevant tabs under that section. And after that you can close those tabs and the tabs which you have stored under the collection tab they will still be there. It's a huge relief from creating tabs of your most visited websites again and again or losing them in the crowd of other tabs. And every time you open your Chrome, everything that you created and saved will be right here. It won't be lost. And every time you open a new tab, a tab made by Toby will be opened and you will be able to see a map of everything that you have created on your Chrome browser. So guys, that was it for today's video. Let me know about any Chrome extensions you can't live without in the comment section and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!